I've always claimed to be an environmentalist, and one of the greatest things I'll take away from this program is the absolute knowledge that I am. What is special about the curriculum here is the way that the different courses are integrated with one another. So I'm an environmental humanities scholar, I'm a humanist, but we also have faculty who are in the social sciences and the natural sciences. And we're all working together, blending our different styles to provide an environment where students can immerse themselves in new ways of thinking about the environment that they probably haven't been exposed to in a traditional academic setting. I thought neo-imperialism was a little less related to the direct force. The goals are not to formally take over a country. It's in the Because that's unfashionable now in the 20th exactly. century. Yeah. <laughs> As part of our international environmental negotiation class, we were able to hold a mock climate negotiation. So I think you come from the UNFCCC secretariat. The UNFCCC wouldn't release this because they were the ones who approved this without the graphs. So it might be in that way you might think about it as a press release for a very specific audience. We're going out on Lake Champlain and each field work opportunity trying to understand the lake from a new perspective and a new lens. We decide that disasters are only disasters when humans are involved. And they're reaching a point where they're teaching each other, and they're learning that when working with others, they can make much more powerful change than as individuals. Part of developing that identity as an agent of change means applying leadership skills. One of the most surprising things I've learned is that a lot of times a leader just has to stop talking and really actively listen. To be able to respond in a way that moves the whole group forward in a positive way. So we provide them with a set of skills through workshops and interacting with practitioners to help give them the skills to be successful in doing that. You've got to manufacture your own optimism and hope, I think, and courage in, in this period, more than, the, than we did. As a summer program, there's just a lot more time and attention spent with the professors and the students together. Our discussion with our professors are beyond classroom sitting, during lunch, on trips, and I think that really allows good relationships to form. There really isn't any one kind of student. I go to Ursinus College. Villanova University. The University of Central Arkansas. I'm an environmental studies major. An English major. Psych major. Its common name is the Red Spotted Newt. The commonality that we share is that we all want to be able to make change. The show it seems really that everybody's working together in order to understand the whole picture of something that is so important in our world. There's a point in the semester at which the students really take ownership of the curriculum in a way that says, we get it. I am going to take back to Arkansas a want to change the culture. I would like to start my own law firm shut down a coal-fired power plant. Relocalize energy and food. I can imagine in 10 years, you could actually trace all of the alumni and see where they're all at in the world and what they're working on. And it'd be pretty powerful, pretty inspiring. It's been amazing to be around people with so much passion. And I still don't exactly know how to solve all these problems, but it's a lot less overwhelming because I know how to start. <laughs> <laughs>